Okay, so I never thought that I would be back here sitting, making a video with face cam. So for those who don't know who the face behind Bugsy is, it is I. Hello, nice to meet you. In today's video, I'll be discussing what Dragon Ball Daima is going to be and how Dragon Ball Daima will actually be quite successful when it does releases in fall 2024. Now, I made a video about this probably about six to nine months ago, and it received a bombardment. And what I mean by a bombardment, I'm talking about so many people were in the comment section saying that Dragon Ball Dama was dumb and that I was glazing and that Akira Toriyama doesn't know what he was doing and all this massive amounts of negativity all because we got a simple trailer of Dragon Ball Dama. Now, I do believe that Dragon Ball Dama will actually be quite good once it does release in fall 2024. And I believe that many people said Dragon Ball Dama is a chibi style anime it's going to be for the kids it's not going to be og dragon ball where is dragon ball super season 2 where is the granola arc where is the moral arc where are all these different arcs that people have read in the manga which at this point are one to two years old why are we not getting that what is old man toriyama doing now first and foremost as many people do know akira toriyama did pass on uh, on march 1st it's almost been two months as it's been two months and it is very weird to actually uh to even say that and think about it so you know me um rp you know old man toriyama you are greatly missed and what people do not know is dragon ball daima had a lot of hands-on experience hmm hands on experience i would say dragon ball daima was very involved with old man toriyama Toriyama Sensei did have a lot of involvement in the project and they said that this was the happiest that Toriyama was when it came out to making Dragon Ball projects. There have been many different interviews that said that Toriyama really didn't enjoy writing Dragon Ball. He kind of just did it because he kind of felt his obligation to do it. But when Dragon Ball Dama came around, he had pretty much written the entire story, was there with the animation team, there with everybody, and again, had his own involvement in it. And we see what can happen when Toriyama Sensei can have his involvement or will have his involvement heavily in a Dragon Ball project. And I think one thing that I really do not like about the hate that Dragon Ball Dama has gotten, and as of right now, it has slowly decreased because we haven't gotten an updated trailer, we haven't gotten much news regarding Dragon Ball Dama, is the fact that, oh, well, it's going to be for the kids. Dragon Ball was never specifically for the kids. Don't get me wrong, it is a shonen anime. But there are many different instances where we can see that Dragon Ball was not for kids. For those who have seen OG Dragon Ball, you will know that there were many different scenes that were not appropriate for children. There are very serious moments. There are a lot of fights. There are some very brutal deaths that happen. But we cannot sit here and say that just because Goku and Vegeta and some of the other cast have been made into this childlike form does not mean that they are going to be childlike minded. Now, of course, we all have the, you know, Toriyama has his, you know, comedic gag with turning trunks and the goats in into kids again and not allowing them to be teenagers, which obviously in the manga, we said they are teenagers and hopefully we continue to see that development with Toyotaro working on the story and the manga in the near future. Now, one thing that people do not know about Dragon Ball Daima is that they have had two plus years to work on the animation and pretty much have it completed, polished and having it probably looking consistent along the entire animation run or the entire run of Dragon Ball Dama when the release in fall 2024 on Fuji TV which is kind of dope what people don't know is that in OG, not even OG Dragon Ball in Dragon Ball Z and we're going back to Dragon Ball Z because Dragon Ball Z seems to be the anime that many people found Dragon Ball from and that is their favorite out of OG Dragon Ball Dragon Ball GT Z and Super and we're not going to include superhero Dragon Ball Z had outsourced to so many different studios to get the deadlines for the animation for the episodes done on time. All of it was not done in-house at Toei Animation because during that time, they did not have the staff nor the manpower to actually get episodes done on a weekly basis with high quality. So of course, Toei Animation, they would outsource to this studio, this studio, this studio, and this studio. And that was how the episodes came out. And that's why some episodes look better than others. Some of the animation, the shading, the coloring did look different, even the lining on the characters. If you, it's a, you know what I'm saying, like if you look back and look at certain episodes, some do look better than others because they had different animators, different staff working on those episodes. Now, do we know that Daima was outsourced to other 
animation studios no we do not but i'm assuming due to the fact that we have a two-year time frame of the animation getting done i would assume that most of it was done in-house and that possibly a lot of the animation was finalized and approved by toriyama himself yes there are you know lead animators and i believe there's like a, su a supervisor uh animator etc but at the end of the day i think toriyama was the one who had to give the thumbs up to everything and that's why i do believe that for an animation standpoint daimo will be fine now am i expecting new transformations am i expecting something like that for daimo kind of yeah that's kind of been what dragon ball is since different hair colors equal more pop figures figurines which equals more sales equals more merchandise whatever so i do expect to see transformation but i do not really expect to see this very serious story which i know people are saying with the moral arc was serious the granola arc was serious yeah those arcs were pretty serious but dragon ball doesn't always have to be serious og dragon ball showed us that it doesn't have to be serious the entire duration through even some of the filler in dragon ball z the filler was very relaxed it was very chill and that's what a story is a story just isn't fighting 24 7. now to retract and go back to how the fans think that they know what's best for dragon ball i disagree because y'all aren't the ones who created dragon ball yes we would love to see ultra ego vegeto get animated vegeto ultra ego vegeta get animated true instinct super saiyan gets animated we want to see super saiyan blue ultra instinct there's many things that we want to see even black frieza we want to see that get animated yes there are so many things that we would like to see get animated and they may get animated in the near future again this the way that an anime works is it takes years to get all this stuff done and then it gets released dragon ball daima has probably been worked on for the last five years so once dragon ball super was done and it was done airing dragon ball daima wait yeah dragon ball super when it was done airing daima was probably on the on the planning board to get animated to get storyboarded and to find an animation team and to find the people that they wanted on this project especially if old man toriyama was the one who was very heavily involved in this project so again i think that dragon ball Dama is going to be good i don't think this is going to be a forced project that many people assumed that we did get with dragon ball super in certain aspects and again i think the story will be pretty but even in dragon ball super which a lot of people do complain about dragon ball super had the issue of the stories didn't tie into each other nor did it matter for the next character arc yes the beerus arc was important or the god destruction arc and then we had the goku black arc we had the golden frieza arc or resurrection f goku black arc then we had the universal uh tournament arc they didn't really work together besides of course two percent god being pushed all the way through i think the dragon ball diamond is gonna be okay and for the fans who really want dragon ball super 2 season 2 we might get it we might not get it and we don't have an idea of what toyotaro is going to do when it comes down to dragon ball i do think that he does need the support of the fans because again it's since they did pass away and being a dragon ball fan most importantly being like a dragon ball story writer like toriyama and even just like toyotaro it's an immense pressure on their shoulders because for those who do or do not know dragon ball z was supposed to end after the cell saga but after a lot of people were very unhappy about goku not being the main character or goku not being the person to win it all they sent death threats to toriyama sensei and then he kind of decided to make the final chapters of z or what we consider the boo saga and while the boo saga i think is pretty 50 50 for those who dislike it and for those who like it we would have never gotten the boo saga if it wasn't for you know people being quite rude to toriyama sensei but that's enough yapping for me for today um i wanted to do a video like this to see how it would be received since this is a more organic and just you know off the dome type of video so it probably will be a little bit sloppy because i don't have a script that i'm actually reading from but let me know in the comments down below do you think that dragon madama will be okay do you think it's going to be good when it does finally release in fall 2024 what are your expectations what do you not want to see in dragon madama and if you don't care about dragon madama let me know why and please don't just give the answer of we want dragon ball super 2. obviously we do want super season 2 we do want to see all these different transformations get animated 
and we see like an epic version in the anime and even though the manga was epic i'm sure the anime will make it tenfold and make it even better hope you guys did enjoy today's video make sure to leave a like comment subscribe hit that bell notification and miss the video and i will catch you guys next video peace